I heard about this Protestant who moved into a largely Catholic neighborhood. One Friday night, he was out on his backyard grilling a nice juicy steak. Meanwhile, all the rest of his neighbors were inside eating some sort of fish. The same thing went on every Friday during the month of Lent. On the last Friday of Lent, all the neighborhood guys got together and decided they needed to do something about their neighbor, John, who's constantly grilling steak on his barbecue every Friday night. So they went over and talked to him. And by the end, they were so excited that he finally decided to join all his neighbors and become Catholic. They took him to church and the priest sprinkled water on him and told him, you were born a Baptist, you were raised a Baptist, but now you're a Catholic. The men of the neighborhood were so relieved. Now their biggest temptation of Lent was finally over with. The next year, Lent rolled around again. The first Friday of Lent, all the good Catholic neighbors were sitting in their house, getting ready for their fish dinner, when they smelt that smell of grilling on the barbecue again. The neighborhood men could not believe their nostrils. What's going on, they all thought. So they called a meeting and they all decided to head over to their neighbor's house. Maybe he had forgotten that it was Lent. Just as they arrived, they seen him in the backyard sprinkling holy water over his meat, saying, you were born a cow, you were raised a cow, but today you become a fish. You're welcome. All right, so beautiful touch screen, love it. Tells you all the input for the power coming in. Turn on your AC, DC, all that. This is the Blue Eddy uh, 200 Max. Yeah. So we got a couple of cool things to talk about today before we get into the chicken coop, but it's gonna be well worth it. Mm -hmm. So. You stick around. Yeah. You wanna find out. Yeah, so first of all, these are just cool units anyway. Blue Eddy's been sponsoring us for a while and we only share stuff that makes sense and this stuff definitely makes sense. It's super cool. So this is the 200 Max. Showed you, well, it's been a while since we showed you this one, I think, but it's got charging here so you can do wireless with your cell phone charging. DC plug-ins here. There's more DC, 10 amp. That's like an iPhone on the USB-C, newer iPhone plug-in. Those are regular USB outlets there. 110, four of them. And then this super cool, that's a 30 amp. Mm -hmm. And you can put plug an RV in it and stuff. A lot of times you go to campgrounds, it'll be like a 30 amp and then a 50 amp one. Blue Eddy does have a 50 amp on the 500. We're not talking about that one today, but that's pretty crazy. Yeah. But this one here has the 30 amp, and that's pretty sweet. So this is 2,048 watt hours, but with that, you can double it mm -hmm. to 4,096. And then you can actually put another one and make it over 6,100 watt hours that you could have together all combined. It's so cool. That's a lot of power, so that's yeah, pretty cool. Is. Like, yeah. that's a pretty sweet setup. All right, give you a little real world turn yeah. on the AC for this thing. So that's actually just a like a battery charger right here. We drive an old 92 Ford. Yeah. Hey, that truck works pretty good. But we also have a side by side. But uh, and I've actually killed the battery in both leaving keys, turn, stuff like that. Having a power unit on us, we actually drag the unit around different Blue Eddy units with us. Mm -hmm. And we can actually use this to charge up the battery. That unit right here actually has the car start on it, so you can actually start the truck back up or the bike or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I won't put those together, but she's powered up. All right, if you can see here, this is where these are plugged in, right? There's another one, the exact same thing would plug in here if you had another one of these. And then the 200 Max has your adapter there for charging it. And then this one here, like if you got solar coming in. Down here, same thing, if you wanna charge this, there's adapter there for it. You, there's a couple of outlets you can use too. USB-C, that's like that iPhone one. USB-A, that's a regular USB one. And then a 12 volt outlet there. So a couple of outlets on it too, which is kinda of cool, just as is. So, and then the indicator there is how much power is in this one. So you could easily use this as like a home backup power, no problem, especially if you had a couple of these. I mean, over 6,000 watt hours is quite a bit, and you could run quite a bit of stuff on these. You could probably run an off-grid home like we're building just off this stuff. It's pretty cool. What you'd be surprised what you could power, like life would be pretty normal, just with something like this. We lose power quite a bit because we're in Canada and there's a lot of snowstorms and stuff, so having this on hand has mm -hmm. been super cool because we don't actually lose power when yeah. we're at the off-grid place. Yeah. Ever, so that's nice. Yeah. 
But even having backup power for a regular thing or RV or something would be pretty sweet. Oh, this thing here too, you can run it off the Blue Eddy app. You want to check specs out? It's all down below to check out the specs on this and all their other products. They got, man, a lot of cool stuff. Another thing, links below. You can save up to 30% off on, you know, various products. There's an Easter sale. There's going to be a link down below for that also. So you probably should check that out. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now that we've showed you all the really cool features of this unit and the expandable battery, we're going to get to something even more fun. So we are doing a giveaway. Again, compliments of Blue Eddie and us. We're giving away the AC 200P. This is also a couple thousand uh, watts of power, lots of watt hours, same thing. We ran our chop saw and everything off of this unit while building the cabin, so it was so convenient. This is 2048 watt hours, 2000 watts. All the specs for this are going to be available down below. Mm -hmm. A lot of the same stuff, except it has six of the 120 outlets here instead of having that 30 amp one. Yeah. But uh, all the same kind of power, all that cool stuff. This is a really sweet unit. So we're going to give one away. Yay! You guys have until April 16th to comment on this video, and as long as your comment includes the word Blue Eddie, you'll be automatically entered into a draw to win a brand new one of these, which will be shipped directly to your home free of charge. Yeah, free of charge. So just make sure we say that because sometimes when we do these giveaways, there may be some spam accounts going on down through the right. comments saying to get a hold of them on WhatsApp telling you who knows we're not going to do that this yeah. is always shipped free we never charge money we'll never ask you for your credit card information no. there'll be none of that information ever the only thing we'll do is you'll comment and then we'll announce the winner either in our community tab or whatever but we'll know who it is and we'll find them yeah. and we'll either comment under your thing and tell you mm -hmm. to email us or send us a facebook message or send us an instagram message but it'll just be the message and we'll get your address and stuff there'll yeah. be no credit cards none of that kind of stuff yeah there was some scammers around so just letting you know so we're that. telling you right now if that yeah. happens yeah don't don't follow it and no. we will have the verified check mark by our name maybe yep. maybe have off grid verified check if you don't get it from that then ain't us yeah just to be clear yeah to see nobody get scammed because that's stupid that people do that yeah for sure but anyways sweet unit to get in on uh for easter mm -hmm. you know so that's pretty cool yeah comment below and we'll see who the winner is yeah good luck to everybody mm -hmm. now let's go sort that coop out All right, so I got this run all set up. Today, Huey is coming, the boy, the rooster. 
So he's just gonna go in this and we are going to continue to get the coop ready. And then we're gonna cut, cut a hole through the fence right back here, right where the mesh is. We'll just cut a hole out and we'll staple it to the coop so that they can come in and out of the coop and go into their run. And we'll leave him in here probably at least for a few days without even letting him out just because we want him to know that this is his new home, this is his safe place. And uh, yeah, so it looks all right. I mean, it is what it is, right? It's just a run for them for when we're not able to actually watch them and while they get used to being here. So right now I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna cut. See these little twist ties? I'm just gonna cut all the ends of them, make it look a little nicer. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna collect some hay, bring it into the coop here. We'll get that done here now. Pretty cozy in here. Here's our boy. Hi. Hi, baby, baby. We got number one in here. Yay. Who's a nice boy? I got his food and water set up there and I've been going around cutting these little tags. I have quite a few more to do. There's lots, but oh well. We'll get there. Hey bud. He's so pretty. Oh he is. Nice looking boy. We built him a little perch there. See if he likes that. Ugh. Oh, just no, close. definitely not the whole thing. It'd be too big. Take up way too much space. I see you from this one to this one will work. Yeah. What was I saying between these two? Yeah, that'd be good. Just do ish. <laughs> yeah. Always seems to work for us. I don't think it's coming out anyways, honestly. No. It probably weighs like a pound. What? What? We're trying to work on your house. Uh, I think it'd be all right. That looks like a good spot right there. Yeah. Maybe it's here. You can look at the window. <laughs> See if this will fit. No, I don't think so. We'll just need another piece we can add to it, eh? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what we did is we just added some mesh wire up here because we have a lot more stuff that we want to do, obviously, on the coop, but the rooster's here now, and he's kind of, you know, a little antsy because he just left his family. He's in a brand new place. So because he is a little bit nervous, we just wanted to make sure that he didn't try and jump out in any way. We are going to close up the ends, whether we have some old soffit laying around or whatever we use, I don't know yet, but for now, this mesh will work. And like we added the plastic, which is kind of like a window for them. So now we're just going to bring the run up to the door here. We're going to attach it and then he'll be good to be in his coop and be out there. So it's awesome. We're so excited to have him and can't wait till the girls get here. So we'll bring that corner into there. Yeah. Or, or near the back roof. Where are we up to? Pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> oh, okay. So, and then we'll just... Uh, we'll just tie it back to here. Yeah. I'll cut from here and then tie it here. Yeah. And then staple it to the bottom there too. Yes. He yeah. can just jump up. Yeah. Well, here. Okay, good. But you can't go any further because the, the metal for the door. I know, baby. You want in there. Let me go in and, and look. Yeah, You okay. should go in and look. He's like, I like that. I want to be in that thing. Oh, 
Hey, what's in there? Hey, what's in there? You went in that barn? Oh, I do. He definitely does. I do. Put me in. So, I'm gonna make sure. You could probably staple this. Yeah. Rip the whole fence apart. Okay, tell me what to do. Pull it? Or no? Here? Just staple it to the house. Yeah. And then I'll cut around it. Just go wide here. To here? Just wherever you... You gotta line it right up or it won't go through them. Aren't you cutting through that or no? What? You're not cutting through. If I need to staple it around it and then I'll cut it. Right. Okay. Might you think to, that's enough now? You then you'll cut it. Snip that. <coughs> yep. Just a sec, bud. Yeah. You think that's enough? Because it's going to be. I think once you cut it, it'll be easier. Now just and cut it. And then we'll it. go up. Yeah. He's coming in for you. That's going in. I'm going in there. Okay, just a sec. So. Maybe cut in the middle, why don't you? Because then we could just use any extra. Like wrap it around. So we got the door done. We got it so it latches here perfectly. And they're locked in and safe for the night. It's just something for now. We'll fix it up a little better here as we um, do the exterior. But for now it works good. And to hold the door open right now, we just got these little, uh, like this twist tie here. So we're going to put a proper latch, maybe with rope or something. But for now this just works to keep it open. So just like that, and it'll hold it open during the day for him. Here's his setup. What's he doing? Who's cute boy? What's him doing? Hi. He's got some hay in here, and his food, and his little perch, his window. See you later. See ya. Have a good day. I'm going to get you some girlfriends. Yep. So I was able to find four laying hens online and I'm going to pick them up today because the six layers that we had pre-ordered weren't ready until the middle of this month and we just don't want him to be alone for two more weeks. We feel like, I don't know, sad for him. So I'm going to go pick up four girls for him right now and then in two weeks when our original girls are ready, we'll have them as well. So we're going to have ten hens and a rooster, which is kind of cool because then we'll have lots of eggs. I'm always doing stuff with eggs anyway. And if there's any extra after, we can sell them or I can give some away. We'll see. Whatever. Depends how many extra we have. So this is a good start. I've seen some ducks for sale and some guinea fowl. And I thought they'd be kind of cool to try. But I think we'll just see how these guys all go together first. And then we'll uh, maybe kind of experiment into some other animals as well. So it's pretty fun. This is the beginning. Probably the beginning to something really cool. <laughs> So last time we had laying hens, what we did is use these plastic bins as nesting boxes. So I'm going to fill a couple with hay right now. And then what you do is you just cut a spot right here <laughs> for them to go in and out of. And you put it inside the coop and they love nesting in these. We built it up. So we built up like, I don't know, maybe a foot and we set them on top of it and we're going to do that. But for now, just because they're coming today, I'm going to have these right on the bottom on the floor of the coop. But we will build something to have it up. That way they can nest under it and they can nest in it. I'm also going to transport them in one of these. So I'll just cut little air holes in one and then I'll cut a whole middle section out of the other and put it straight in the coop. So they're both ready. you want mister what do you want hey so just like that just fill it with a bit of hay just so they can get in there get snuggly and lay some eggs oh look look down what do you think bud Hey. Well, the wing up one way. Ah! <laughs> What's the one that's had her wings clipped? 
so you can feel it kind of. <laughs> she's little. <laughs> oh, she's nice. Oh, gee, right I on like her you. instantly. She looks Dad, look. Dad, I'm holding her. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> don't touch me. No, don't touch me. Silky, she is funny. Yeah. She doesn't care about being held. She likes being held. Mm -hmm. She didn't do anything. No. What's the white one? Is that a leghorn? Looks like it, doesn't it? He didn't specify. It, it, they look like the astrolope, black astrolope, or what are they called? You know what I mean? I don't know. They're kind of smack on the Right, but not there. Throw the hay in there. Oh. Why not? Hey, she's trying to drop George. Mighty little. Yeah, they could have some water, some food. Bertha. Like our black kitty we lost. Mm -hmm. Now we got a black chicken. Yeah. She's soft. Dad, you should feel her. Dad, feel her. She's really soft. Oh, Alright, so now George has a couple of lady friends to keep him occupied and in a couple weeks we're going to pick up six more so we'll have a total of ten hens. It's going to be really awesome. They are going to free range most of the time but for now we're just going to leave them in here for probably a week until they're comfortable enough to know that this is their home so that way if we let them free range they always come back. So we'll give them about a week or so and then when the new girls come we'll lock them all in together for another week, get comfortable with each other and then they'll be free ranging whenever they want. So now we just gotta finish a couple more things on the outside of the coop, but for today, we're gonna call it a day.